Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm Emily Skileli, NPM 191104354. I will present it about movie review, and the movie title is Howl's Moving Castle. Howl's Moving Castle is a 2004 Japanese animated fantasy film written and directed by Hayao Miyazaki. The genre is animation, fantasy, and action. This film is adapted from the novel of the same name by British author Diana Wine Jones. The film was produced by Toshio Suzuki with animation by Studio Ghibli and distributed by Toho. The main character in this film is Sophie. An 18 years old girl. Sophie works daily to mix head at the head shop left by her father. One day, on the way to meet her younger sister who works in the shop, Sophie met a handsome witch who is the talk to the town's girls. Apparently, the witch was being cased by a group of witches who finally managed to escape while delivering Sophie to her little sister. It is turned out that the one chasing Howell is a witch named the Witch of the Ways, who then goes to Sophie head shop. Feeling the shop was closed, Sophie asked the witch to leave. And once that Sophie key came out, the witch left the shop cursing Sophie into a 90 years old grandmother and Sophie would enable to say anything about the curse. Not wanting to surprise her mother and the workers at the shop, head shop, Sophie decided to leave the house. Sophie goes to the valley of the exile with the intention of finding a way to dispel her curse. In the valley, Sophie met a scarecrow that turned out to be alive, which Sophie thought was a just, just a stick of wood and was going to be used as a stick. The scarecrow escorted Sophie to Howell Palace, which continued to move around the area. At the castle, Sophie met the fire demon Calcifer, who learns that Sophie is under a curse. Calcifer offers to break the curse in exchange for Sophie's help in breaking the spell that bounds Calcifer to the castle. Sophie also refused because according to Sophie, making a patch with the devil was not good things. Sophie rest, rest and fell asleep in front of the fireplace until morning came. Howell's assistant, Markles, came down from the second floor and was su surprised to find an old woman in front of the fireplace. Sophie was awake by the sound of the doorbell and Markle's voice answering the wizard James King was out of the house. The doorbell rang again and this time the guest asked where, where was the wizard the dragon? Sophie thought why are there Jenkins and Pendragon in the same house? Sophie, who was curious, opened the door by trying different knobs and find and found that the outside was different. Suddenly, Sophie, Sophie's country is involved in war with the neighbor country, followed by the disappear of the crown prince from the wizard world. Howell received a call from the king to fight in the war. However, <clears throat> Howell has the idea of sending Sophie by pretending to be her mother. Sophie will 
tell the king to declare awal is a crowd who has two identities. On her way to the palace, Sophie meets a breathless dog named Hen, who she thinks is owl is owl in this disguise. Disgust. Sophie also encounters the witch of the ways who eventually lost her powers due to the being taken by Suleiman, the king's witch, and becomes a grandmother without magic powers. Suleiman tells Sophie that Owl will meet the same fate if he does not join the war. When Sophie protests Suleiman's action, the witch of the waste curse is temporarily weakened because there is love in Sophie's words. Suleiman realizes that Sophie has strong feeling for Owl. Owl then arrives to save Sophie. Suleiman tried to trap Owl, but the but with Sophie's help, they managed to escape, taking the former witch of the ways with them. Sophie eventually learned that Owl turned into a fe feathered bird-like creature when he was involved in the war, but each time he changed it made it harder for Owl to return to his human form. Sophie, Sophie fears that Owl is preparing to leave them due to the limited time he has left as a human. Sophie's mother Pierce and it actually under Suleiman's influence and leave a bag containing a spy snake under the command. Grandma found the snake and immediately threw it at Calcifer. Unfortunately, Calcifer got sick after it the snake, rendering him unable to protect Owl, Owl Castle. Hours later, Sophie Town and Owl Castle are bombed by enemy planes while Suleiman soldier attack the flower shop Owl made for Sophie. After protecting the flower shop from the bombing, Owl heals Calcifer then leaves the chest the soldiers away. He told Sophie that he would never run away again because he had something he wanted to protect before joining the war. Concluding that Owl must be saved, Sophie removes everyone from the palace as well as removes Calcifer from the herd, which is soon followed by the destruction of the palace. Sophie over a, pay, a piece of her hair to Calcifer so that it will be strong enough to remove the remaining fraction of the palace. They had to ward Owl when Grandma find Owl hurt inside Calcifer. Grandma take the hurt and refuse to let go even through even to even though Calcifer fire burns it. Sophie pour water on Grandma, making Calcifer lose all his strength and power. The rest of the palace split apart. And Sophie and Han fell into the abyss. Sophie continued to walk toward Owl's herd with the help of the directional magic ring Owl had previously give, given her. Sophie enters through a door into a dark area and finds memories of how Owl and Calcifer met. Little Howell, feeling sorry for the fallen and dying star, then given his heart to the dying star who was none other than Calcifer. Meanwhile, Owl lost his heart, making him emo emotionally attached to this childhood. Sophie finally finds Howell, who has lost consciousness as a human in the form of a bird. They return to the group and Sophie asks Grandma to return, return Howell's herd. 
Grandma given Howell's heart to Sophie, which is immediately placed back into Howell's body, restoring his life and freeing Calcifer. Sophie kissed the scarecrow on the cheek as, as a thank you, which eventually re returned to her true form. The Crown Prince of the Wizard World Hand shows Suleiman their happily ending scene, and Suleiman decided to end the war. Owl, Sophie, and the other are seen hide above the bomber in a new moving castle. So, my opinion about this film is this film will warm in the heart and is suitable for viewing or watching with the whole family because, because it has a moral message about the power of love and this film has a good music to listen to listen to even though this is a two-dimensional film but i highly recommend it to watch this movie Okay, that's all my movie review about Howl Castle, Howl Movie Castle. Thank you very much and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.